Hey guys, it's The Bower Productions, and welcome to a uh, unboxing video for a different kind of uh, box here. We got ourselves the Charizard X Red and Blue Collection. So yes, what this box has is four booster packs of the Generations uh, booster packs, which is pretty nice. Because it does come with an extra bonus card, I guess. Not really like more than ten cards, but it has another good card in there. So really, you get three out of the ten that are decent cards. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. And we also get a little uh, Charizard figurine right here. But without further ado, let's get this thing opened up and see what's in here. Of course, if I can get this open. Okay, there we go. Let's pull this thing out. Aha! Uh -huh, okay. So we got this stuff right here. We got... Uh, let's look at that. Looks like the Charizard EX is actually in the back here. How do I, like, get this out? God damn it. How do I... Okay, I'm, like, bending the card. Hopefully it doesn't get damaged. Oh, you know what? Let me see. Can I, like, pop this out? Maybe. There you go. That's how you do that. Okay. So there we go. There's our Charizard EX with Wing Attack and Combustion Blast. This is a regular Charizard EX card with 180 HP. And yes, this Pokemon cannot use Combustion Blast during your next turn, so you'll, it's kind of like a Hyper Beam in the Pokemon games. So, I mean, yeah, it can't use the next turn, you have to recharge. But it looks like they gave us a little figurine here, a little Charizard figurine, pretty nice. Pretty uh, interesting, look at the wing here, it's like... It reminds me of uh, Delta Charizard from Pokemon Insurgents, if you know what that is. There's a fan game I did on my YouTube channel. And basically it's just a different kind of Charizard. In fact, that one was Ghost and Dragon. But yes, it has like a... Kind of reminds me of that, and then plus a regular Charizard wing. But okay! We got ourselves four booster packs. And whoa, what is this thing? Uh, let me open this up quickly. Oh! Get the mythical Pokemon every month! Oh yeah, okay. I get that. Let's see, 20 years of Pokemon, we got some other things here, so you can, there's like a little checklist for all the mythical Pokemon stuff. So right now we have the Charizard one, but it's not on here, okay, that's interesting. But yes, we can pick up more of these different things, in fact there is going to be a, uh, there's going to be an Elite Trainer box that will be coming out for the Pokemon Generation stuff, so that's kind of interesting. So there we go, we got four booster packs with a code, and we got some stuff right here. Yeah, there you go. So, have some uh, Boost Packs, Charizard, Venusaur, Pikachu, and Blastoise. In fact, I'll just do that. And we'll put take all this plastic and other stuff and move it along somewhere else. And yes, time to open up some Booster Packs. So, I have to open these up slightly differently. I, it's like, not really open them, but like, uh, I have to shuffle the cards a certain way. But you know what? We're gonna start with the Charizard one. I'm feeling some good vibes from this Charizard. So here we go, if I can open it. There we go, and all right, let's see. So one, two, three, okay, let me see here. Does it come with a code card? Yes, not, all right. Well, I guess one, two, three, and then we have to do like three after. It's kind of different, I'd have to say. But, oh, it looks like one of the cards is bent. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, hopefully it's not like a rare card or anything. But there we go, we got a Hangla, Meowth, a Rhyhorn, Ponyta, Floral Crown, what is this? After, at the end of your opponent's turn, heal 20 damage from the basic Pokemon this card is attached to. Alright, we got a Graveler, Pokemon Fan Club, a Reverse Hollow Caterpie, a, uh, this is what the special card is, it's a Radiant card, and you can see it has like a different shine on it, but it has stuff on there that's not really like a normal shine. This is a Radiant card, Radiant Dedenne, and our rare is a Gyarados, regular. Okay, not bad, Gyarados is a pretty decent Pokemon, and at least the last box that I did gave me a Magikarp, so if I wanted to use a Gyarados, I can. Alright, pretty solid. Let's move that to the side. I didn't really get anything special out of that, but we do have three more packs. We're going to go with this Blastoise one next. And, alright, here we go. So, one, two, three, and then three again. Uh, like, come on. Not used to this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, we got ourselves a Psychic Energy. 
Meowth again. Tangela. Meowth. Snow Runt. Raveler. A Pokeball. A Reverse Hollow Olympia. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, heal 30 damage from the Pokemon you move to your bench. Not a bad supporter card. And then there is our Radiant card. It is a Diancie. Not bad. I like the little design here. It's really nice. It has a Sparkle. If the defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn, your opponent flips a coin. If it if Tails, that attack does nothing and we can do Diamond Storm. And then it can also heal 30 damage from each of your fairy Pokemon. Wow! That is a decent card. And now our rare is a... Tauros. Okay. So I kind of liked how I got that Diancie there. No EXs, but we did get a couple of good cards there. So, okay. We got ourselves a Venusaur. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh man, here we go. Okay, one, two, three, and then three again. Let's see, did I get it? I did get it this time. Nice, okay. So, we got Shelter, a Steel Energy, a Slowpoke. Actually, this kind of. Is this an old art from a while back? I'm pretty sure it is. Huh. I don't know, it seems familiar. Okay, a Magmar. A Chikorita, an energy switch, move a basic po energy from one of your Pokemon to another. That is a nice card. We got a double colorless energy, a reverse hollow is a max revive, put a Pokemon from your discard pile on the top of your deck, and we got the Radiant Charizard card. This is a sweet card. Look at that. It has like little snowflakes too. Kind of interesting. It has recall, which you can choose one of this Pokemon's attacks from previous evolutions to use it as attack. That is nice. I'm sure you need all the energies too, but it says you only need one right there, so I might have to look into that a little further. But we got Combustion Blast too. This Pokemon can't use Combustion Blast during your next turn, and we got something behind this card! I can see the edges! It is a Jolteon EX! Oh man, 160 HP! It has Swift that does 30 damage. This damage attacks damage isn't affected by weakness resistance or any other effects from your Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon. And we got the move Flash Ray, which does 70 damage during your opponent's next turn, prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. Wow. This is a pretty cool card. I love the design of this Jolteon EX. That is sweet. Dang. Okay. So we got at least one EX out of this box. Not bad. And we have one pack left to open. I'm pretty satisfied with one EX out of these four booster packs, but hey, we can get another one. That'd be pretty solid, so we'd get two out of this entire box, including that Charizard one that it comes with. Okay. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and then three after here and stuff. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves. Let's move this to the side. A Magmar. Ghastly. Fire Energy. Tangle of. Wobbuffet with Bide Barricade. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each Pokemon in play in each player's hand and in each player's discard pile has no abilities except for Psychic Pokemon. Interesting. And we got the move Psychic Assault. It does 10 damage. It does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Also, I see it's kind of like a late game Pokemon where like, if you, you just need to get a little more chip damage, you can use this card and it can get enough to finish one. So that's, that's a pretty useful card in certain, certain situations. Then we got a Cloyster with Clamp Crush and Spike Cannon. So Clamp Crush, flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. And Spike Cannon, so it, it does 30 damage, flip five coins, it does 30 damage times the number of heads. That is pretty deadly. That's pretty nice. If I ever make a water deck, I'm definitely considering this Cloyster. So we got a Clefable. And then we got a Rhyhorn with a Reverse Hollow. And then we got an Evelto Radiant card. Look at that. That is nice. And it comes with Oblivion Wing and Darkness Blade. And our final card of this box is... Hitmonlee. Alright, not bad. Okay. That is it. So, let's get to the conclusion. Okay. In conclusion, we got ourselves... A Charizard EX that came with the box, a Jolteon EX from one of the lighter packs, and then we have a few Radiant cards such as Dedene, 
Diancy, which I, that was quite, kind of interesting. We got a Charizard and an Eveltal Radiant card. So, I say we got a we got a few good pulls out of this. I mean, we got one, two, three, four, five, six good cards out of four packs. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this Elite Trainer box when it comes out in July. So, be sure to look forward to that. I do have some more booster packs to open up. So, yes, those booster packs will be in another video. Be sure to look forward to those. And, yeah, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and, yeah, see you guys later.